New information tonight in that officer involved shooting that left two men dead. Police revealed today that one of the men was an informant who was working with police to help capture the other man. 23 BC's Chris Ronella spoke to the chief of police and joins us now with more. Chris? Well, Chief Greg Williamson says the results of part of their investigation are still a few weeks off, so he wanted to let the public know what they have found so far. The shooting happened September 16th at the Four Point Sheraton on California. Police were looking for Justin Harger in connection to a shooting. They were working with police informant Jorge Ramirez. Cops say Ramirez and Harger were in an SUV together, and Ramirez was giving officers updates about where they were. He did provide the information for our officers to locate um, Justin Harger in the uh, parking lot of the Four Points uh, Sheridan. Police say Ramirez didn't comply with orders from officers when they stopped the SUV the pair were in. They say Ramirez got out of the SUV and hit his hands from officers. Police say at some point during the confusion, Harger shot Officer Danny Brewer. Brewer is recovering. In the ensuing gun battle, both Ramirez and Harger were killed. Our pursuit of Harger um, um, was done, you know, in a manner that we would generally do it. Um, I don't know that we had all the information that we would with a, with a um, reliable informant. Police say Ramirez was working with them in return for consideration in a recent drug arrest. Ramirez's family has hired famed Los Angeles attorney Mark Garagos. He says that he is concerned that Ramirez was working with police but ended up getting, quote, executed by police. Police say their investigation has been slowed by two officers who have refused to give a statement in the criminal investigation. We have two officers that have decided not to give statements in the criminal investigation but have given compelled statements in the administrative investigation. And Justin Harger's mom is angry. Police couldn't find a more peaceful way to arrest her son. To say how the truth is and you won't have to cover up. I mean, what's right is right, wrong is wrong. Now, police say they are conducting both an administrative and a criminal investigation, which they say is standard after any officer involved shooting. Now, police say the administrative investigation will be done in about three weeks. After that, the shooting review board will look at the case to decide if the shooting was justified. Police say there is no timeline for the completion of the criminal investigation. In studio, Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC.